Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're actually going to be doing an unboxing video on the channel. Never really done one of these before and uh, well, may not do that many in the future, but today actually my friends over at Ironside sent me something really special in the mail. Not sure why I'm brandishing a knife at you guys, but what Ironside has done is they've sent me a giant box in the mail containing a fairly top of the line computer which pretty well across the board is going to be a massive upgrade from the computer I built a few years ago. So with all this amazing technology, I'll be able to play old school RuneScape. <laughs> yeah, this box weighs an absolute ton. Big shout out to the guy who delivered it. He didn't even give me a call first. He just trusted that I would be here on the third story of my apartment. No elevator, by the way, so that guy's a champ, thank you. Now this package actually got here three days ago, but I've been dying to open it for the entire weekend. It's all I've been talking about. So finally, let's go ahead and open it. I've been waiting so long for this. I have really no idea what to expect, but let's go ahead and do it. Okay, that's uh, very well packed. This is gonna take a minute. <laughs> Gotta be used for a box this big. <laughs> this is the official instructions, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> So far for the case, we have a pretty interesting kind of psychedelic pattern at the front. It has a pretty solid dust filter in there. Uh, tempered glass side, of course. Uh, I'm, I think we gotta open this up probably and remove some other stuff, so I'll go do that in a minute. <laughs> so anyway, I'll go get this thing fully unpacked, we'll get it booted up. But then of course we're gonna talk a bit about the specs and what I plan to do with it. Now this last year has really been a year of change, uh, not like personal growth or any of that crap. <laughs> I mean, I physically just changed a lot of things as in I bought a bunch of new equipment, spent a lot of money. I was a pretty damn good consumer in 2020. I got a brand new keyboard, brand new headphones, a brand new chair, just a ton of new stuff. Luckily though, one thing I didn't end up having to buy myself is a brand new computer. Uh, so thanks again to Ironside for sending me a pretty giant computer upgrade. Now, obviously there's gonna be memes saying, oh, all I play is old school RuneScape, which is true but there are some pretty serious benefits to upgrading my rig beyond just the games I play. Okay, so what are the specs for my computer? Well, everything is housed in a Neo V2 silver case. Uh, the processor is a Ryzen 5 5600X. Now, probably the biggest upgrade of all is gonna be my new graphics card, which is gonna be a GeForce RTX 3060. Uh, the entire system uses liquid cooling, and they also included 32 gigabytes of RAM, which I've now augmented with my existing 32 gigabytes to make, well, 64. I worked with them mainly to set myself up with a very good editing rig, and also obviously it has a very strong graphics card for any other games I wanna play, and also running like 10 RuneLite clients at once, which often kind of happens. Also being fully able to take advantage of GPU rendering is actually a big plus for me. Rendering a video using your GPU is incredibly quick, so for very intensive tasks, I'll probably offload some of it onto the graphics card. Now as for the rest of my equipment, I have actually upgraded quite a few things this year. Probably the most notable one is actually my chair. Before Ironside sent me this new computer, I think actually the most expensive piece of equipment in this room was actually my chair. But realistically, you shouldn't cheap out on your back. Anyway, it's a steel case gesture. Still kind of trying to figure it out. There are just so many levers. Now another big upgrade this year is I have bought uh, some monitoring headphones, those being the Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pro which now allows me to hear audio in uncomfortably accurate detail and probably hearing way more than I want to know. As for the mic, we're using an Electro Voice RE20 hooked up to a Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 audio interface in the Cloud CL1 preamp. I also now have this cool RGB mechanical keyboard. And finally, of course, we have the two window plants, which are completely priceless and are doing quite well. Maybe in like 10 years, I will get like one coffee bean. 
Not that anybody really asked, but here we have 25 Runelite clients open with like 40 tabs open on Google Chrome. And still, I don't even know how it's possible. My video editing software is taking way more processing power and RAM than like everything else. It's actually just sitting there doing nothing and is using 10 times more processing power than Photoshop. Now, one other thing I've upgraded this year is actually upgrading some of my software. Primarily, we are now paying for the Adobe Creative Cloud which is $80 a month, it's ridiculous. Now you guys may already recognize this video, but I just wanna show you how quick hardware encoding can be. Now on my previous computer, it would take me often 20 to 30 minutes to render a video. Now partly that was because I was using Sony Vegas and apparently their encoding software is just vastly inferior. But beyond that, we're still rendering about three times quicker with this new GPU I have. I mean, three minutes to render a 16 minute video, kind of crazy. Sure, we don't have any insane effects on here. It's too quick. I mean, I kind of like having a bit of time to chill and go get like a snack or coffee or whatever. Now it's just done in like a few minutes. Now, obviously the big benefit here is if I do make a mistake, I can quickly fix it and the turnaround time is very short. I mean, I do upload a lot of videos and having like a 30, 40 minute delay just to re-render something is a big pain. Now with that said, software encoding is also quite notably quicker than my previous setup as well. Now technically, software encoding is more recommended. It does give you the highest quality possible. However, GPU rendering is getting a lot better, and as you can see, is just way quicker. Also, because it is using the GPU, it really doesn't use much processing power com compared to CPU rendering. Even while we are rendering a full video, we're only using around 45%, 40% of our CPU, which leaves a ton of processing power for other stuff. So there we go, guys. The entire video rendered in like three minutes, uh, so that is obviously gonna make my life way easier. Uh, so anyway, I gotta say thanks again to Ironside for sponsoring today's video and of course giving me an awesome new rig. If you want to check them out, there will be a link in my description. Also, if you do enter the coupon code FLIPPING, you'll get a 5% discount on any computer you buy. Thanks again, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Now, before I go here, as always, I want to give a massive thank you to all of my members over on YouTube. A huge thank you to Brian Robinson, Cappy, Colin Corley, Timothy Chen, Guy Fox, Valhalla Lad, Ocelot and Kush Patel for all subscribing at the Dragon tier of YouTube membership. Thanks again, guys. Also, big thank you to YoYo Sub89, Clack Clack, Need My Pills, Branton Griffin, All Things Gaming, Birdbot, and Base Titch for all being subscribed at the Reunite tier. Thanks again. As always, if you guys are looking for another way to support the channel, becoming a YouTube member is an awesome way to do so. You can get access to my video release schedule be immortalized in any of my future videos, and of course get a custom role in my Discord server. Thanks again guys, and I'll see you next time.